Hello everyone. For our today's lesson, I will be discussing to you about 3D effects. So how to apply a 3D effect? First, let me open my Photoshop and create a new file. I will set my paper into 1920 or my file to 1080 Then I will use pixels as my units. I will no longer change the resolution. So let's just make it 75%. The background will be white. Click OK. If you would like to modify the size of your file, you can do so. Now, to unlock this layer, just double click, then click OK. In that case, you will now be able to change or modify the background. So let me change the background color under layer style, gradient overlay. I would like to use this one, but let me reverse and choose radial, scale, then 40%. In your case, you can modify this one. So that depends upon your taste. What will be the output that you would like to be applied in your file? So depending on using and if you would like to use a different color, you can use this one. But in my case, I will be using this one. In that case, you will be seeing that there is somewhat or somewhat similar to a light at the center of my working area. Click OK. Then, let's start using the text tool to type my text. I will be changing the font, the size, the crisp, and the color will be black. So, example, capital J for my first name, then small m for my middle name. So, G and After that, we are now ready to apply a 3D effect. We go to the 3D menu, click Reposé. Reposé is a command that is used to rasterize the text for your layer. Then click Text Layer. If this alert message will prompt on your screen, just click Yes. Yeah. So, Makikita nyo na po ngayon that this area will be changed plus a layer to see. You will now be able to see a ground as if this, this is the ground. Then this is the thing that happens to my layer. So commands or different buttons has been added. Then this is the Reposé dialog box. So diba tingnan nyo po, automatic ng 3D na po siya. If you would like to modify that one, you can do so by clicking the extrude and the bevel. Now, if in case na hindi po mag-appear po itong ground and this buttons, simply go here at the bottom of the Reposé dialog box. This has been checked. If you notice, if this command has been unchecked, there. So, just click this one again. Check each command to display that one. So, example, I will be changing this one to 0 0.3. See, it has, been, it has been changed. So, I will add a little bit 0 0.5. The height will be 8. And the width will be 6. Do not forget to change the mesh quality from draft to best. So that you will be able to receive or to render a quality 3D effects. So click OK. So you see, it has been changed already. Now, to change the color of my text, under this layer, double click this button. It will open to another file. Meaning to say, you can now change the color of letter G and M. So this is normal. In this case, the letter J and M has a 3D effects in it. So for my background, now we'll be using this one. Just click OK. For this color, click OK. For my foreground, let's choose a little bit lighter. Then click OK. Now, how to apply these colors? Click the layer style. Click gradient overlay. 
you will now see that this color can be seen under the gradient button. See? Oh, there are. Then just click OK. See? And click again. OK. Now, before you exit, just press Ctrl S from the keyboard to save this layer. Then, click the close button to exit. See? This has been applied already. But if you notice, the extrusion or the extrude color is still black. What if you would like to change the color of the extrusion? You double click the extrusion under layer. Let us try to apply this color by pressing Control Backspace. See, this has been changed already. Now, if you would like to modify that one, Click again the layer style, then click Gradient Overlay. So I will be using this one. To change or modify the color from white to gray to black, click at the center of the gradient color, then choose a different color. Click one of the stops, so example this one, and I will change the color. So I will be applying the darker color as well. So, in that case, I already have a dark blue and a black one. Then click OK, click OK, then click again OK. Again, you save that one so that it will be applied to this file. So, Control S, then exit. See, this is now color black. The color has been changed already. Now, you can click now or right-click this one, then click 3D Rotate or Object Rotate Tool. By pressing Shift, then drag the mouse, you can now move the text for you to see the extrusion. So, kung titignan natin, para na siyang nakalutang. Diba? What if gusto mo na nasa iba ba siya? Si ground. So, you just have to click this button, the 3D scene. Eh, ma'am, wala po kami nung 3D scene. Saan po namin makikita yung 3D scene? You go to the Windows tab or Windows menu, then click 3D. There. So, mag-appear na po siya. Diba? Then, click this button to place the 3D effects to the ground plane. So, snap object to ground plane. See, it will go down. Eh, diba? So, nasa ground na po siya ngayon. Since nasa ground na po siya, pwede na tayo mag-apply ng mga light colors. So, to apply a light color, so, exit ko lang po ito. Paano natin makikita? Okay, so, let us try to move that for us to see the entire object. So, right click, then 3D rotate, camera 2. Press the shift key. So, see it is moving. So, in that case, as if you are looking on the top view. So, para tayo nasa top view, di ba? So, let's try to zoom this up. There. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is to apply a light color. To apply a light color, Simply click the 3D scene. Pag wala yung 3D scene, you go to the Windows menu, click 3D. And so, ito na po siya. Make sure lang po na nakaklik ang ground plane pag nag-apply tayo ng light color. Just click OK. Then, click this button for the light color. So, automatic, we already have three lights. Light 1, light 2, light 3, infinite light. So, let us click first the infinite light one. Let's change the softness to 100%. Then, you have to right-click this one. Then, click the light pan tool or the rotate tool. So, it's up to you. Then, you can click this one. See, move. Saan po yung mas gusto niyo yung light? So, tatlo yung magsisilbing light niya, light effect. So, example, I would like to place this one. So, if you're done and satisfied with that one, you click the second infinite light too. So, 
let's change again this one to 100%. This time, click again the second light. So, saan siya ngayon yung susunod na maliwan? It's up to you. There. Let's choose this one. See? You will now be able to see the light. Then, let's go to the third one. Again, the softness is 100%. And then, let's choose the next light. Example, this one. So, if you're already satisfied, we go back to this tool, the seal. Remember, nung nag-click tayo dito ng ground plane, may error na lumabas. So, ito po yun. You have to change the quality into ray trace drop. Pag ray trace graph, meaning to say, if you are still not satisfied with the effect of your 3D, now, you will be able to see these grid lines moving. So, para siya sa mga movie makers, nagbe-render po siya. Medyo matagal siyang mag-render. But if in case na halimbawa, you're already satisfied with the effect. Halimbawa, gusto mo na yung effect niya. Okay na po siya. You can now click any buttons that you have here in the Photoshop. So, example, I'll click the select button to stop that one. See? In that case, it will stop already, right? Then, if you want, you can move this a little bit closer to your screen. Right click again the 3D Rotate tool. Then, click now the 3D Pan tool. Or the 3D Zoom tool. So it's up to you. 3D camera tool, 3D pan tool. Then press again the shift key. So example, this one. Let's click again. See? Now let's see. Now let's go to the 3D object slide tool. Then shift. So you can move that one. To whatever place you want to, you can drag. See, once you are dragging, as if it is moving closer to you. See, there. If that's the case now, and if you're already, you think if you're already satisfied. You can click again to stop that rendering services. So, stop rendering. Just click that one. Let us wait this read lines to stop rendering. Now, if you are already satisfied with the effects, you can go back to the quality, then click that as final draft already. But if in case, let's say for example, that is the purpose of this one, right? Click the 3D object tool, then 3D slide tool. If you're going to move downward, it will zoom. The effect of this one, as if it is not, or it keeps apart to the ground floor, or to your drawing area. So downward, it will move as if it lays down to the drawing area of your Photoshop. So let's say this one. If you are already satisfied, you can click this one now. Then apply that as ray trace final. Then click to see the effect. See, so then click this one. There, so I already have this one. The effect of my 3D layer or 3D effects. So that is how easy on how are we going to apply now 3D effects in our text. So that would be all. I hope you learn a lot on how to apply a 3D effect.